What's up guys? Today we're talking VS2 diamonds. I want to show you some examples of different VS2 diamonds that we've had and some of the engagement rings that we've reviewed on our channel. I want to show you some very close up footage of the diamonds so you can see any of the little imperfections that they have because VS2 diamonds do oftentimes have slight inclusions in them. But then I want to show you some real life shots of the diamonds actually in real life to show you that really a lot of those inclusions are oftentimes not very visible. VS2 I think is a very good spot to land. It's a very safe bet for getting an eye clean diamond, uh, but you're not overly paying for you know super high clarity. So let me show you some examples of this. Now all the rings that we're looking at here are from James Allen, and that's a lot of the channel. A lot of the videos that I do on my channel are rings from James Allen. So if you want to check out these rings, I will have a link to VS2 diamonds from James Allen down in the video description, as well as links to uh, all of their settings. Now. This first ring you're seeing here, absolutely beautiful. This is a falling edge pave engagement ring from James Allen. And you can see in this up close view, the diamond, the center diamond on this looks fantastic. Now this is a one carat, 1.01 carat, E in color, VS2 in clarity, and it is an ideal cut. Now you can see from this video, this is a really, really great looking diamond. Now, I mean, just look at the light performance there in the low light shot. And now let's take a look at it on my fiance's finger. This is in um, some higher lighting conditions. We're in the shade, we're filming this outdoors, but you can see that that diamond is coming to life and it looks fantastic. Like this is a really, really great diamond, but it is VS2 in clarity and it does have some slight imperfections. But even if you were looking at someone's hand, like let's say you're showing your ring to somebody, you know, grandma or something wants to see your ring, they are not gonna see those little inclusions. And what I'm trying to show you in this video is sort of that view of, ooh, let me see your engagement ring. You cannot see any inclusions here, but let's take a look up close to see where those inclusions actually are. So if I go ahead and pull up the diamond on James Allen's website where I got it from, and like I said, I will have a link to their diamonds down in the video description. You can see here, if we go on the super zoom where we can go nice and close up here, you can see those two little lines there right in the center of the diamond, front and center. And when you're actually looking at them, when you know when the diamond's magnified this large, yes, it's pretty easy to see those lines. And someone might think, ah, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I want this diamond. It's got those two little lines there, you know, but in reality, this is a very, very beautiful diamond with those two little lines really not being a big deal at all. They, if you could see them in real life, they're gonna be so, so faint. And I can promise you that you're gonna be happy with the diamond. Now this is kind of worst case scenario because these inclusions are right in the center of the diamond. So if they were anywhere, this is where you would definitely see them. But you can see from the video, even up close with this, the macro lens, it's hard to see them especially if the inclusions are kind of off to the side or dispersed a little more, you're gonna have zero issues at all. It's gonna be a really good diamond. So VS2, very safe bet, really good in terms of saving money on, on staying away from some of the better clarity grades. And I still think you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck and you're gonna be happy with what you get, which is most important. Now I wanna show you a few more examples. The ring you're seeing here, this is a 1.04 carat pear cut diamond. This is a lab diamond as well. G in color, VS2 in clarity. You can see in this natural, very harsh sunlight, which is like worst case scenario for a diamond is to have it in direct harsh sunlight. It still looks incredibly eye clean and has a very, very good aesthetic to it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the up close shot of this diamond. If we click on the super zoom, you can see that we have some little tiny specks here and there in the diamond itself. They're kind of dispersed though. So a little bit different than the last diamond, but you can see those slight little inclusions. But when we show the diamond actually in real life, you can tell that there is very to like no chance you're actually going to see these in the diamond unless you're really, really zoomed in. So just another example of a VS2 diamond looking eye clean. Next up, we got a one carat oval cut, really good looking stone, another lab diamond, very, very clear. Once again, super harsh, natural sunlight. This is at noon going right into the diamond. So if we're going to see any imperfections, it's going to be now. The only one I really see here on this diamond is down here at the bottom. You can see a little line right there, imperfection. You can see some text there on the right, but that's actually the inscription on the diamond. They actually put an inscription there to identify lab diamonds. So that's what you're seeing here in the photos. Um, there are a little a couple imperfections there at the top that aren't very noticeable, but like I said, super, super zoomed in and we can barely see them. But if we go back to real life, we just have a really nice looking sparkling oval diamond, not a problem at all. The last example here that I will show you guys, this is a one carat emerald cut G in color VS2 clarity lab diamond emerald cut. Same story. This one, you can see we have a little line there on the left hand side. That's pretty visible 
uh, in the really, really close up shot. And then we have some slight little dots here in the, in the middle. You can see very, very small. Even when we're zoomed way in, you can't see it. But once again, go back to the real life shot and you just have a really nice looking diamond. So don't get too caught up on the clarity. You can find some really nice VS2 diamonds that you're gonna be very happy with. The only thing I would recommend you look out for, and this goes for any diamond, is look at your diamond report, whether it's from IGI, GIA, or AGS. Look at your diamond report and look in the notes and comments section to see if there's any mention of cloudiness or clouds within the diamond. This can be a killer for some diamonds. It can give them sort of a dull effect, take away from that clarity. So it's definitely worth it to look through the diamonds and find one that does not have clouds. It'll be really worth your time and the extra little money that you'll have to spend on a cloud-free diamond. But the overall look, you'll like a lot better and you'll be very pleased with it. So I definitely recommend that. Now, when you're actually shopping for a diamond, whether it be online or in a physical store, one tip that I can give you is look at your diamond in a variety of lighting conditions, especially in direct harsh sunlight. So right around noontime when it's really bright outside, take your diamond into that natural sunlight and that is really gonna amplify any of the imperfections inside the diamond. Now this is not necessarily bad, this is just for transparency to really see what the characteristics of that specific diamond look like. And you wanna make sure that the overall appearance of the diamond, if it does have any small little imperfections, you're okay with that because it's really hard to get a perfect diamond, right? So it's all about picking a diamond that maybe has some small imperfections, but that you can live with and it doesn't compromise the overall look of the diamond. And I promise you, if there's something right now that you're not really happy with for the life that you own the diamond, you're forever going to not be happy with that little tiny blemish or inclusion or line or whatever it is. So just be sure that that you like the diamond and that you're okay with any little imperfections that it has. And that natural sunlight will really bring that out. So if you're in a physical store, ask to see the diamond outside. Um, tell them you want to see it in the bright sunlight. If you're shopping online, you know, you're going to get the diamond shipped to you. Make sure within that 30 day return policy, you're taking it outside, looking at it in a variety of lighting conditions, especially that bright sunlight to really see everything about the diamond and see any little imperfections. And then once you find the right one, you're going to know it, keep it, and you're going to be very, very happy with it. Overall, I hope this video was very helpful. All I ask is if you really enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you, smash that like button. Thank you for watching. And if you're interested in any of the rings from James Allen and you wanna see more examples of rings that come from James Allen, be sure to check out my channel because I have a ton of videos, like 60 plus videos over there currently of different rings from James Allen. And I provide a lot of information and video examples uh, to get you guys a better idea of what's out there. So if you wanna check out those videos, be sure to check out my channel and view all of those. I appreciate you all watching and we'll see you in the next one.